Yeah, man, this is good. It's it's good, yeah. That is all. I listened to Hotel Pools High again. Oh, yeah. I bet that was great. This seems like it would yeah. be a, a good old time. My notes were incomprehensible. Yeah, you were telling me about that. <laughs> yeah, man, this is good. It's it's good, yeah. That is all. I don't know if there's a whole lot more to say. Yeah, it's nice. It's super sweet. This is really good. Go listen to it. It's Chill Wave. Have you heard Chill Wave before? This is the good one. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I went back and looked at my score from last time, and I <laughs> scored it the same. <laughs> oh, is the last Hotel Pools album, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the exact They're same. very different. They're very different, but... I know, but it's just good to listen to it. Yeah, I think they're on pretty much the same quality level. It's just that they're very different things. That one was, like, pure ambience and just, like, a somewhat somber tone, but, like, also does some nature sounds and whatnot. And this one's, like, your average chill wave sound, but it's very, like, trippy and immersive and stuff, you know? It's really good. It's really nice. It's really nice. I've always felt like Hotel Pools sits kind of interestingly in the whole greater vaporwave thing because they basically aren't really doing anything new or experimental with it, but they're just doing like a really, really nice sounding version of what's there. Yeah, like this is like S tier fucking how it should sound. Yeah, I like the title being Phi Low like this because it's, it's like flipped around lo fi. And I think that's cool because it does sound like the sort of thing that would be like lo-fi beats. It's the same aesthetic, but it's very hi-fi. Yeah, it's produced good. It's so balanced out and... I'm noticing that like in a lot of their albums, they have that fucking like palm tree or like palm tree shadow for this one. Mm -hmm. And that's a vibe. Yeah, the palm tree thing is cool. It really just kind of fits. The only album that doesn't have it is Evening. Yeah, they're not very popular, apparently, on album of the year. No, the Vaporwave and, like, Ambient and whatever community is kind of a totally separate little pocket of the internet, so you don't get a lot of ratings on these guys. I think that they're kind of prominent within it. It just doesn't seem like a lot of people talk about their music online. But I guess on that same note, like, there's not that much to talk about. Like, it's just kind of good-sounding music. Yeah, people aren't talking about it. They're fucking listening to it. Yeah. yeah he's got, like, 400,000 month listeners on Spotify, which is less than deserved but it's still good. I mean, yeah, it's really great music for basically just, like, any setting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, apparently their album Fall is what popped the fuck off. Really? Yeah. I, I haven't listened to everything. I'm not sure if I've listened to that one. This might be my favorite of what I've listened to so far, but I do really like how relaxing the last one was. Like, that one's just a really good album to turn on to, like, sleep to or whatever. Yeah. But this one serves a different purpose in a really nice way. Well, fucking apparently this one is exactly as good as the last one to me. <laughs> exactly the same score. And that's really funny to me. That is really funny. I don't know how you get features on this. Like, are those just people in the room when these were made? No, no, it's probably like someone was helped make it. I don't know. I guess, yeah. It's always so interesting. I'm like, well, that sounded like the other ones. But Decisive Koala is here. So. Decisive Koala. Forever. You know, I gotta say, that's a that's a pretty rare occurrence. Every koala I've ever met, very wishy-washy. They can't make up their minds. So, I mean, I'm glad we I'm have koala. this specification. It's me. It's you. Koala. It's you. Koala. Um, do you have favorite tracks on here? No. No, it all kind of just washes together, for sure. I like Caves the best. I also think that Kaleidoscope Caves. is maybe their best song. You could totally make an argument, at least from what I've heard. Because, like I said, I haven't heard absolutely everything. Uh, Kaleidoscope is so sick, though. Dude, I'm gonna do a deep dive at some point where I'll, I'll listen to Fall and Palmscapes and Still and Content and Evenings and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been meaning to get around to some of it, and a lot of it I have already just uh, turned on and, and let it let it play, let it do its little thing. I have one of them on vinyl. It's the one with the sphere, and I always forget what it's called. Oh, constant the sphere on the little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's vibes. It's vibes, dude. I love how this whole album sounds like a dream sequence and or like when the character takes an acid tab in in a movie or a TV show. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It just feels like fucking going, whoa. Right. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. It's it's got you like falling in a trippy little little colorful hole of colors and happiness. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. didn't make any sense. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, it did. I hope it did. But hotel pools, Philo. What's your score? Uh, eighty-one percent for me. I gave it an eighty-two, like I did with nature. Nice, nice. I did rate this one higher than nature. I'm not sure how much higher, but I know that I was in the seventies for nature. So I can look because there's only five ratings on nature. You gave it a 79 last time, so you're two points above. I'm two points above. That seems about right. You're catching up. Yeah, that's cool. And then I suppose we can move on to Gone by Gone. 